Hi friends, welcome to Dart and Flutter vocabulary series. In this video series, I will be covering the terms I find I, I come across my Dart and Flutter development. So in this video, I will be covering the property named as runtime type property. This is the property found in the main Dart core object class, and this can actually print us the object type at the runtime. So let's dive in. Okay, so I have written a companion article uh, to uh, uh, write up in this in detail, like how this works in uh, for int, string, and double, and list variable types. So what this article uh, uh, explains is, uh, so we are storing a value uh, in using a keyword where. So where is the variable is a keyword which can store pretty much any kind of data, a data type. And but at the runtime, we may want to know what uh, the type of data is stored in the storage box. So that one we can use it using the runtime type property. So in here, as in int, we have my number one, and when we are printing, it's in runtime type. So the type of the number is printed as the data type is int. For a string, it is the my string is the variable and the it's if i want to print the type of this uh, string uh, or the data that i don't know what kind of data type it is i can use my string dot run type uh, runtime type and it will print as a string class so the data type of this class is string the same with true with double so double is is one dot o so this is a decimal and then it will print it as double class and for a list, so it, it, this is a list of integers, and so it will print it's a type, it's a list of type of integers. So it, this code is available in the uh, source code is right here on the GitHub, and you can run all of these code in the Dart pad as well, or you can check out the code in your uh, Android Studio as well in a Android uh, in the Dart project, regular Dart Flutter project. So the project I have it is here that is called Dart underscore vocabulary and it has runtime type. So each for each vocabulary word that I will be covering in this series will be right here. So for this uh, uh, today's uh, video, it's in, it's in here in runtime type dot dot. And then, and the, so let's check in the so what you will be doing, you will clone this code into your um, environment in your Android Studio. You will open this project and then you either you can, uh, there's two ways to run this. One is go on the file, right click on it and say run my time type dart file. Or alternatively what you can do, you click on right here and can run uh, your file right here. So let's uh, uh, let's try to run it. In here in action and so I'm commenting out my code so that we can uh, see it in uh, right here so I'm putting my variable let me put it call it my variable and have I know this is a one which is an integer type but I don't know what it is of this data type so let's print it so I will be printing it and I'm printing a message uh, data type is and for printing in dart we can use this curly braces with a dollar sign and then we can put my variable dot run time type okay now let's go ahead and run this code so it should print int there you go so it's int now let's change it let's make it to double put a dot uh, the decimal value here and let's run Let's see what comes. You can see it's a double class now. Now let's make it a string. And let's see what it does. There you go. You can see it's a string data type right here. And now let's make it a list. So say it's a list of string or integer as in his example. But let's make it a string just to show. Okay, so it's my variable and I'm right making a list of my 
string right here. So I just put it a bracket here and start writing in here and say 2.0 oh, which is also a string and let's see what it does in this time. Okay, so you see it's a list of a string. How about if I remove this and make it a double actually? Let's see what it prints. So it's a list of double and so on. So this code is available in my GitHub and let's come in and you can get access uh, to this code. And so in this uh, video, what we learned, how, what the use of runtime type property is and where it is found. So it, it, there's a link to this class. So it's again, it's in dot course object. A property is a runtime type property that, that's available right here in the object uh, class of it. So that's that's it for this uh, this particular uh, article and about the uh, dart vocabulary. In the next uh, uh, in the next video, I'll be covering runes. Uh, so stay tuned. See you in the next video.